Hello and welcome to a tutorial on how to change your front brake pads. For my Triumph Bonneville 2012 SC, I'll be using Galfer's Double H Centered Front Brake Pads, which cost me around $35 for the set. For this maintenance, you will also need a 5mm Allen wrench, flathead screwdriver, socket wrench, and a toothbrush for cleaning the assembly. Um, and I also used a Loctite copper anti-seize stick to protect my screws from the high heat produced by the brake assembly. The first step in the process is to remove the brake assembly from the disc. You want to use a flathead screwdriver to remove a small screw that covers the allen key pin that is holding the pads in place. I recommend removing the screw and loosening the pin before removing the assembly as you'll have more leverage to break them loose while it's still on the disc. After the pin has been loosened, you can remove the two bolts holding the assembly to the disc. Once the bolts are removed, you can use a back and forth rocking motion to pull the assembly off of the disc. Once the assembly is off, you can pull the pin out and remove the old brake pads. As you can see, mine still had some padding left, uh, but they were over six years old, so for me it was time to replace them. After removing the pads, be sure not to lose track of this removable metal piece. You will need to ensure that this is in place before installing the new pads, uh, but I recommend removing it and putting it aside to clean your assembly. While you have the pads out, I highly recommend scrubbing the brake dust off with dish soap and water. Ensure you clean the outer rings of the pistons as excess brake dust can eventually cause pistons to become corroded or embedded, which is a much more expensive and complicated fix. You can squeeze on the brake lever once or twice to expose a larger section of the pistons for cleaning, uh, but don't squeeze it too many times as the pistons can pop out and leak brake fluid. If this happens, you'll have to bleed your brake system and put in new fluid. Once your assembly has been cleaned, it's time to install the new pads. For the Bonneville, I use Galfer's G1370 FD140 pads. Before installation of the pads, ensure the metal spring is in the correct position. You may have to work back the pistons with your fingers, or install one pad and then use it to press the pistons back to make more space for the second pad. Once both pads are in, you can reinsert the pin and apply some anti-seize copper to the thread Once the pin is in, apply some copper to the screw cover and use the flathead to screw it back in place. The next step is to put the assembly back onto the disc. You may need to push the pads back up against the pistons to create enough space between the pads in order to fit the disc between them. Once the assembly is back together, you can tighten the mounting bolts to 28 newton meters. Once the assembly is back on the disc, ensure that your brake system has pressure built up by pumping the brake lever multiple times. The final step is to brake in your new pads, test them out in the driveway first to ensure that they are working correctly, then take them out to a neighborhood and take it up to 15 and back down to zero a few times while applying gradual brake pressure. Then increase the top speed to 30 miles per hour back down to zero. Do this for 20 minutes or so in order to embed the new pads onto the disc. Ensuring your brake pads are embedded properly creates even contact between the pads and the disc, leading to more effective pads. This step also prevents squeaking and grinding noises when braking or driving at lower speeds. 